Westminster Abbey, exterior, a magnificent masterpiece of English medieval architecture. According to Sulcard, a Benedictine monk who was the author of its first history, Westminster Abbey was founded on the present site around 624 in the time of Melitus, Bishop of London. A later legend attributes the construction of the sanctuary to a fisherman of the River Thames that had a vision of St. Peter near the site. This seems to be used to justify the gifts of salmon from the Thames fishermen that the abbey would later receive. The proven origin seems to be around the 960s or early 970s when St. Dunstan installed a community of Benedictine monks here. A stone abbey was built by King Edward the Confessor as part of his palace and was consecrated in 1065. King Edward's shrine is at the heart of the abbey church and is surrounded by tombs and memorials of many great men and women of British history. The abbey became the coronation church of Norman kings, but none were buried here until Henry III, who had an intense devotion to King Edward, who was later considered a saint. In 1245, he rebuilt the abbey with an Anglo-French Gothic style as a shrine to St. Edward and as a regal setting for his own tomb under the highest Gothic nave in England. The work continued for more than 200 years and was largely finished during the reign of Richard II. By 1503, King Henry VII added a perpendicular-style chapel dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Westminster was a cathedral only until 1550. The expression, robbing Peter to pay Paul, may have risen around this period when money for the abbey, which is dedicated to St. Peter, was diverted to the treasury of St. Paul's Cathedral. Until the 19th century, Westminster was the third seat of learning in England after Oxford and Cambridge. It was here that the first third of the King James Bible Old Testament and the last half of the New Testament were translated. The New English Bible was compiled here in the 20th century. Full of treasures and history, the Abbey deserves a visit for its stunning Gothic architecture. It remains a church where worship still takes place and retains its strong links to the monarchy, being the traditional place of coronation and the burial site of the English monarchs.